What up? I'm Terrence, AKA the Cornbread Connoisseur. I know it's been a long time, but I'm officially back. Every single week, you know, people will not let me forget about the series. I mean, they're sending me recipes, they're sending me locations, they want me to come to their house. It's been so crazy that a simple idea has taken off beyond what I could have ever imagined. It's crazy, man. Um, I want to take a second to give a shout out to my man, Kevin Gatlin. I ran to him a few months ago in the gym and he walked up to me and said, T, man, what's, what's happening with the Cornbread Chronicles? I, I had no idea he was watching. He said, man, you need to be doing this and that, and this and that. I was like, yo, you're right. I need to. I mean, he, he lit a fire back into me and to make me realize that I need to get back to the series. Now, of course, it's taken me you know, a few months to do so, but I'm officially back now. And uh, being that it's also uh, back to school time here in the Carolinas, go check him out. Parents, go check him out. Uh, he's doing some great things with his playtime bed sheets. It's, it's a, uh, an assortment of sheets filled with learning activities for kids. I think it's such a uh, dope concept. I think the website is uh, playtimeadventures.com. I think that's what it is, man. Go check that out, see what we've got going on. And uh, with that being said, now it's time to get back to the series. Everybody should know and should love the Cornbread Chronicles. Uh, in the course of me prepping to go film some new episodes, I realized there are a few episodes that I've never released, so you all are about to get an exclusive. With this particular episode, I was in Concord, North Carolina. Shout out to my Barber's Culture family. Yes, I am a product of an HBCU. And also congrats to fellow alum, Robert Wingate. I just saw that uh, he was named new principal over at Albemarle High School. Listen, Robert, you know I do video production. I think the last time you saw me, I was rocking with Anthony Hamilton. So, you know, I'm official. And I know you're gonna need some production work done this school year. So tell your people to get with my people, man. Just put me in the budget. I got you, man. I got you. Uh, so like I said, this is gonna be an exclusive, man. Uh, we were in Concord, North Carolina, checking out a spot that was recommended to me by my man Chris Wilson uh, called The Smoke Pit. Uh, they actually got some, it's a barbecue place and they've actually got some pretty good food. But of course, we don't do food reviews here. We only get to the cornbread. And if you are truly rocking with what I have going on with this series, man, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend what I got going on. I truly travel the world trying cornbread. No place is off limits, man. Until next time, it's your man Terrence, AKA the Cornbread Connoisseur. Peace. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another edition of the Cornbread Chronicles. I am the Cornbread Connoisseur. Listen, I know I've been gone for a long time, but listen, we're back, a new season, new places. This is why I've been gone for a while. Check it out. See what I'm talking about? Got a little hard work. Listen, we got married, we got married, so had to take a little break, but now we're back. Today we're in the States. We're in Concord, North Carolina. Shout out to all my, uh, my Scotia graduates there. This is my old stomping ground. We're at a spot called The Smoke Pit. Shout out real quick to my man, Chris Wilson. He said, listen, Terrence, I know you're doing your Cornbread Chronicles thing, but have you been to The Smoke Pit? So, Chris, I'm here. They've got cornbread. What I'm looking for in the cornbread, guys, is the texture, the flavor, proportion, the presentation, right? You gotta have those things. We're grading on those things now. So, Smoke Pit, Chris, I hope you didn't let me down. We're gonna get into it right now. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna tell you that the presentation is amazing because they gave me this beautiful tray. Got the mac and cheese, the fried okra, and baked beans. Um, but right now, we're not really worried about that. We're not worried about that. We're worried about the cornbread. So let me just go and move this to the side a little bit here. Make room for the cornbread. Presentation is off the hook right now uh, because of the plate. I'm gonna say the color is cool. It's a traditional color that we're normally used to uh, when, you, when you think about cornbread. Uh, the proportion is off the hook too. Got them four corners. I love that symmetry. I love the four corners. Uh, this looks this looks like some home style cornbread here, man. Um, so listen, I know y'all been waiting. Let's uh, let's 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 get into it. I'm gonna hit this corner right here. I'm gonna hit this corner. It's got a little it's got a little stiffness to it there. So okay, okay. It does it, it does look a little dry, a little dry, but that could be deceiving. That could be deceiving. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm using a fork. We don't need no fork at Cornbread Chronicles. We don't need that. What am I thinking? Put that over there. Let's get into this thing the right way here. It came to me warm too, guys. It came to me warm. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on, hold on. Let me get one more time. One more time. See how, see how I was breaking apart a little bit? That's, that's, that's a good sign. So, it's called what the, the smoke pit? 
okay. Smoke pit. All right, all right, the smoke pit. Man, it feels good to be back. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give the smoke pit cornbread. I'm gonna give it a, uh, I'm gonna give it a C plus, right? Everything was on point, but I've had better. So, I, you know, it's my duty to keep it real with the Cornbread Chronicles. So I'm going to give it a C plus. Not saying, it's, not saying it's bad, but it's right there in the pocket, right there in the middle. So, Chris, shout out to Chris, Chris Wilson, man. You, you didn't steer me wrong. I have had better, but we're going to rock with the C plus here. C plus plus, the Cornbread Chronicles. Until next time, I'm a Cornbread connoisseur. Let me get back to my Cornbread.